Two teens remain in hospital this evening after a stabbing outside a high school in the northwest end of the city. Police were called to York Memorial Collegiate Institute at the end of the school day after a brawl broke out in the parking lot. And part of the incident was caught on video. This is just one of a number of videos police say are circulating on social media. In it, more than a dozen students appear to be involved in an altercation that starts on the school steps and spills out into the parking lot. Several skirmishes break out and at one point, one person picks up a baseball bat. It just all happened at once and I was just like in shock. Students we spoke with say they witnessed part of the melee after school, but they were coy about whether they knew exactly what had led to the incident. Still, they say the situation seemed to escalate quickly. And I was just like, okay, this is happening way too fast. I need to go home. And were you scared? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think any situation would be that serious. Like any situation in high school would be that serious for, to put someone in a life-threatening condition. Like that's totally uncalled for. Two male teens who were students at the school were rushed to hospital by emergency run with life-threatening injuries after being stabbed. The school near Eglinton and Keel was subsequently put on lockdown, leaving nervous family members waiting outside for hours. I was worried that she was late at that time. And then after that, she gave me a text saying that there was a lockdown, so we just came here as fast as we can. It's scary and it's sad and it's not good, you know. Students were kept at the school for nearly three hours after the final bell while police investigated. Caution tape could be seen blocking off the entire parking lot and police zeroed in on this silver vehicle, though the driver was eventually allowed to leave with his car. Police say the two victims' injuries were downgraded at hospital. One is now in stable condition, the other with minor injuries. We're not a bad school, but we're like really our reputation big, is yeah. tainted now. I feel like just because of this one situation, they're probably going to say the school is bad, but we're really not. Like If you come here, the school is actually like really good. The teachers are nice and everything. Now, police do not have anyone in custody this hour and have not issued any suspect descriptions. They say they know there are more videos of the incident and they're asking anyone with information to, or, to provide it to police or Crime Stoppers.